To be honest, I did not even want to make this video. The only reason I'm doing this video is because you guys support it. So if you guys would like to see these Supreme previews next season, of course, smash that like button down below. However, this is the last Supreme preview of the season. And to be honest, the reason I didn't want to make it is because this week is just trash. There's like nothing to talk about. It's like... I'm probably not going to title this the worst week of the season. And the only reason is because I titled that... I, I used that title, I think, like last week or the week before that. And I don't want to... I don't know, man. I just... I feel like this week is bad. And it's the last week. Like, Supreme, why are you letting me down the last week? Anyways, let's put these bifocals on, these spectacles, these mother... And magnifying glasses and look into the depths of this week's supreme drop list it's a lot of just basic stuff it's nothing to me like that's absolute okay there's a couple absolutely terrible pieces i'm lying i'm trying to defend it but it's just a bad week it looks like we may have a nike collaboration some nike vapor gloves i'm not sure if we will get more items with that collab so depending on whether or not they do a full drop list with the Nike collaboration, then we, it might be a better week. If we do get some information about that, it should be tomorrow morning, or I guess for you guys this morning when you guys are watching it. I'm filming this Tuesday. So I will add something at the end if we do get a Nike collaboration or if I wake up and there's a little bit more information posted to Supreme. But anyways, all this stuff is looking like a drop. And also while we're talking about like Supreme, or I should say shitty Supreme, I got my hands on the paper TNF pants. It's that crumpled paper pattern that you guys may have seen earlier in the season get leaked. And a couple people have been having some of the, uh, people have been having some shit just fall off of a freight truck and they've been getting their hands on it. There's some nupsies, there's some nupsie pants, and there's just a lot of stuff floating around. However, I did get a picture in those pants on my Instagram. So if you do not follow me on Instagram, go change your life, go follow me. It's going to be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. As always, it'll be that mother top link. Well, actually, it'll be the second to the top link because the top link will be from our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. Shout out to Squarespace. I really, really appreciate it. For those of you guys that do not know what Squarespace is, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that you can use. Obviously, I know you guys will be taking a break from buying Supreme, but if you really want to take your resale game to the next level, you guys can get a Squarespace page, run your own e-commerce site, or maybe run like a photo blog where you show your fit pics, you talk about different styling pieces that you like, and if you use that link in the description down below, the top link, then you will actually enter yourself to get a free trial. You can start your own page, start editing it, getting it looking nice and right, so that way when Supreme Week 1 drops for the Spring Summer Collection coming up very soon, if you like the service, you can then renew it and you can actually get a discounted price using that link below. So if you are interested in starting your own e-commerce site or a photo blog or something like that, please help the channel out and use that link below. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to this drop list. Anyways, so first up we have this plaid jacket. This thing is, it's not terrible, but I just feel like the price is gonna be a little bit too much money. Retails should be dropped at the time of recording this. If they are up, then I will post them above the picture or near the picture or somewhere on the screen. But I feel like this piece will be a little bit more expensive, probably between three and $400. Now, one piece that I don't really mind that I actually rather like is probably this Polar Tech sweater. Now, this is a piece, it's got the Tonal Arc logo. It looks really clean, really good. It's gonna be a Polar Tech, so it's gonna feel really nice, it's gonna be good quality. However, I just don't know how I feel about paying that price tag for this piece. Like, some of these colors are nice, I just, I don't know, man. I'm just over that. Every single season they do a Polar Tech, I just feel like it's nothing special at this point, and I just, I just don't really care to spend my money on this. It's not a terrible piece if you just want like a Supreme Essential hoodie and you want something that's cozy and comfortable, then yeah, maybe you want this. Also, the ARC logo is sick. I love the ARC logo. However, I personally will not be going for this. Next up, we have what looks to be like Polar Tech cargo pants or maybe just cargo pants in general. I'm not quite sure. It comes in a plethora of colors. Oftentimes, Supreme's pants fit a little bit baggy. I don't really like the fit of Supreme pants, to be honest, so I will probably pass on these. Some of their sweats aren't bad, so I guess if these are actual sweatpants, then it won't be too terrible. But just overall, I am not a fan, and I will probably not be acquiring these. They are dropping another hoodie. It's a zip-up hoodie, and it looks to be like a small box or reflective small box hoodie. Now, this also comes in some pretty cool colors. It comes in that like fluorescent pink color that they did the box logo in. It comes in a heather gray, a purple, or a lavender, a black, a baby blue, a bunch of colors, and it has the little reflective small box stitched in to the left chesticle or breastesses. It doesn't look like thermal lining, so it's just a normal hoodie. I believe, just like most hoodies, it'll probably be between 160 and 190. 
hoodie. Some of the thermal hoodies are like closer to 198. I know they did small box hoodies before that had the thermal lining and that was 198. I believe these will be a little bit cheaper than that, but still. They're also dropping some Supreme headbands and these ones look kind of weird. It's got that like kind of like little divot thing. It's got the Supreme classic logo, so it's pretty sick. I like the classic logo. I'm a fan of the classic logo. However, that being said, I'll probably not acquire this. One thing that's kind of dope is a lot of these colors are, there. a lot of these pieces are coming in similar colorways. Like these headbands come in all the same colors as the cargo pants. And I just think overall, I kind of like that there's, you know, we're seeing some cool colors, the olive, the yellow, the baby blue, the red, and that natural color is by far the sickest. I might even get the natural colorway, and I don't even really wear headbands like that. They're dropping a zip polo. This comes in three colors. All of these are trash. This orange one's trash. This white one's trash. This red one's trash. I don't like it. Not even a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't have anything else to say about that. That piece is just absolutely garbage. Well, I should say that's completely my opinion. I don't care for this piece. However, I also don't really wear polos. There aren't many ways that Supreme could have created this piece or like this type of garment and I would have gravitated towards it or liked it. So that's definitely probably more my own internal bias. If you guys like this piece, let me know down in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious. I like getting your guys' feedback and your guys' opinions. I don't want to just shit on someone's style. I think that there are people that may like the things that I don't like, and I think that they can style it or make it look dope. And I know I probably mention him almost every single video at this point. However, one of those examples would be Sanjeev, a really good dude and someone who can style a lot of things that I don't feel like I could ever style. Now, one piece that I don't really mind, I will not be going for, but it looks pretty cozy are these flannels. It looks like they have some kind of lining. I don't know if it's Sherpa lining or if they're just thicker flannels, but they do look a little bit thicker if you look at the way that they lay on these uh, little photos. The colorways are not that nice. This baby blue and brown one's not that great. The white and black one's not terrible. And then the green and brown one looks like doo-doo. It looks like absolute shit. Talkie mushrooms. Terrible definitely not acquiring any of these colors. I just feel like they could have killed it better with the color game, and I just feel like some of the colorways could have been a little bit cooler, but I'm gonna pass. Now, last but not least, we got hats, and we got these mother ear flap thingy-majigs. So the hats I actually rather like. I like these hats. I will not be getting these. They're a little bit hype beasty, and I also don't really think I could rock these. Uh, maybe if there was like some crazy hype beast outfit that I could do, like, oh, you know what's kind of crazy, low-key? Oh, they're not all the same colors. These almost, if, I wish they would have dropped these in the exact same colorways as they dropped the sleeve logos, the ones that had like the like separate cut and sew part with the with like the Supreme stitched in. Just like this, like they dropped a blue and red one, I think. I think they dropped an all red one. I think they dropped a yellow and purple one and a couple other colors that are not in here, but that would have been cool to see. I think those dropped last season. So uh, yeah, Supreme, you fucked up. You should have dropped these with those. But still, I think that these are some of the better hats that I've seen from Supreme this season. And just in general, I just kind of like these hats. I think some people will make them look really dope. But anyways last but not least well actually not even last because we have some Nike gloves to talk about once we get the official images but for now we have these reflective camo little thingy majigs um these are nice I like when Supreme does these Supreme usually does these every season we see these all the time well I think every fall winter maybe they do it every single season now that I think about it but these hats are really nice for Supreme I don't really know like how they all sell they're pretty expensive they usually have like a little pocket a lot of people don't realize this, but you can put your weed in there. I wonder what people use that for. No, but in all seriousness, it's a cool hat. I really, really want the uh, Cherub Jacquard uh, hat they did like this. It was like this same style of hat, and it had these little baby cherubs all in it. It was like a denim Jacquard material. I think Exco Day still has his, but that's a sick piece, and I kind of want that and the pants, and I, I just love that. Oh, man. I wish I would have held on to some of those. But anyways, um, yeah, I think these are sick. However, I don't think I'm going to get any of these. They're going to be probably like right around $90 to $100 and just, in my opinion, not going to be worth it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow or today. Before I bid you guys farewell, we do have some more images of the Supreme Nike gloves, which is why I wanted to wait. I also wanted to wait to see if they would do a full collaboration. However, they are not. So, 
yes, this week is trash. I do like the gloves. It's probably the only item I like. However, I don't know if it's worth waking up early to cop these. I don't even know if they're going to have a resale value. It seems like they have a Nike on the back and then on the inside of the hands, it says Supreme or Supreme. And then if you actually have your hands together, maybe if you're playing football or something, it will say or spell out Supreme. There's a little image of an individual doing just that. I think it looks pretty sick. And I will say these gloves are pretty cool. It's one of the only items this week that's, I don't know. This week is just such a letdown, bro. Like I honestly could care less about this week. Maybe that's why they just had such a shitty drop. Maybe they just felt like they wanted to let everyone sleep in after the holidays. But if this is the last week of the season, it's not looking too great. But that is just my opinion. You guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you guys think of this week? What is your favorite piece or least favorite piece dropping from this week? Also, if you guys would like to see more of these next season, of course, smash the like button like I said earlier. Or if you guys would like to maybe see like a full Supreme review or like a Supreme season review and I can give, and I can give my opinions after the season, then let me know by smashing that like button as well. While you're down there, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Join the notification. Game, game, game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace the fuck out.